Hallelujah. 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 Let's give the Lord some praise there. Hallelujah.
Don't allow them to have a place in your mind where they yes. begin to walk yes. and, and you begin to meditate on them and you know that their feet hey. is dirty. Oh my God. <laughs> Don't let people walk in your mind with dirty yes. feet. See, 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 I heard people say that uh, uh, when I got married, I, I planned for my, my, my marriage. And I even heard some people say, I even also planned for my divorce. But, 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 but do we plan for storms? Or do we just let grief just set in every year? Every year this time, I isolate myself. I, I start feeling sorry for myself. I start saying, woe is me. Every year, it's set aside this time for Christians in the body of Christ to go through a grief party. For, 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 for Christians to say, come on in, demons. Have your way again this year. See, every year there's storms that, 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 that are on the ocean and, 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 and they come towards us. And we have to have a plan of action whether or not we allow these storms to manifest themselves in our lives. The devil's strategy in a storm is to attack your thoughts by making suggestions to you. He can't make you do anything. His whole thing is to bombard your mind with suggestion one after another. He want to get in your mind so he can affect your speech. And if he calls you to speak the wrong thing long enough and stay in your mind long enough, he can drift into your organs, into your body, and start causing dis-ease, which lead to disease. See, in, in, in our personal individual storm, the storm is usually greater within than it is outward. Storms that, uh, uh, that, that, that formulate itself outside of you but make its way to you usually impact our minds first and then our bodies. Oh. Yes. The enemy is strategic in the midst of storms. See, the, 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 the enemy, he, 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 he want to rush to your mind. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, see, see a, a storm is it, 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 really... A violent attack against you, trying to make you give up or to surrender the will of God and the plan of God that God has for you. It, it, it sometimes storms come suddenly, mm -hmm. unexpectedly, yes, yes. and cause fear, which is an acronym for false evidence Teach it, Pastor. that appears real. Mm -hmm. yes. It's false evidence appearing real. It comes suddenly and it enlarges itself in your mind. And sometimes storms come in advance. We, 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 we start feeling it coming. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, some people that had operations say, oh, I can tell it's going to rain by how, yeah, how my aches are yeah. in, 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 in my body. Mm -hmm. Sometimes storms are like that. You can feel something brewing inside of you. That's good. Uh -huh. And it starts draining you before it even happens. Mm. It, it, it starts causing uh, 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 you to overthink and you to connect with something that hasn't even happened. Yes, it it, it starts causing your body to react and high blood pressure and uh -huh. ulcers and, and strokes uh -huh. and start damaging your body even before it happens. Timing in a storm, sometimes it just suddenly attacks itself and forces its way in your mind. Mm -hmm. The movement is suddenly, consistently, false evidence of appearing real. And then it, 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 once it gets in your mind and it starts moving, it starts attacking all of your emotions. Your voice starts changing. You start talking in a high pitch. You start shouting and you start getting angry. And you find yourself in a rage. 
You directly assault people and you start going after people. You like you, you like a lion. You start roaring when anybody say anything to you. Ah, ah. Every conversation is controversial. You start living from a place of being overwhelmed, being overloaded, being defeated. Being, being rejected, being, being woe is me, being, being like a broken record, going through the same thing every year at the same time. The body of Christ has set aside time for demons to have anniversaries. Mm -hmm. wow. Lord have mercy. The body of Christ has set aside times that they open themselves up to grieve like never before. Truth, truth. The body of Christ have allowed the enemy to cause them to walk away from the spirit and start looking at stuff. Yes. Start using their five senses. Start connecting with what they can see and what they can hear and what they can touch and and, 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 and they start using you know all of their senses. Preaching now. They start rationalizing things. They 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 they, they start retaliating. They they start explaining and justifying their attitude and their behavior, whether it's true or not, they, 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 they make room for how they feel. Come on, talk about me. This just the way I am. I, 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 this is how I function. I'm just expressing myself. And I'm saved and I'm filled with the Holy Ghost and I'm not wrong, but I still want to apologize to my daddy, mm -mm. to my mother. And we lose focus. On how God wanted to impact generations with our lives. We lose focus of the relationship that God wants to build through one person that don't deserve it and one person that persecuted us that was never for us. We lose focus that God wants to use that relationship to populate the generations and cause salvation to run throughout your bloodline. All right. We start looking with our five senses what we can see, what they've done, instead of tapping into the Holy Ghost Thank you for the Holy and desiring the will of God in these situations. The enemy's strategy is for you to get in your feelings and in your flesh and for you to react to what you see and what you feel and how you think about it. And how you think about it. But God. But God. Amen. But God. But God. But God. But God wants his strategy is for you to know. It's annoying. It, 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 it's annoying who you are and who he is to you. It's annoying. And in, in, in Romans 28, uh, uh, Romans uh, 8, 28, mm -hmm. it said, and we know. Mm -hmm. See, you got to know. It's annoying that you have to know yeah. to be able to operate in the will of God. And we know. Mm -hmm. Amen. See, that all of these storms is really going to work out for my good, to them that love God. All right, See, all we right. already have to know that God loves us, but we have to know that we love God. Yes. And we have to know that all this persecution, all this difficult time, yes. and all of these people and yes. things yes. and demons yes. that are coming against us Go. is still going to work out for my good. Yes. Hey, yes. hey. Yes. 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 It's annoying. Yes. If you don't know, Amen. you can't operate and being hurt. If you don't know, you can't operate in them talking about you. If you don't know, you can't operate in forgiveness. If you don't know. This strategy of God in the midst of storm, you have to know. And we know. And we know. 
And we know that all things work together for the good of them that love God. To them who are called according to his purpose. God has a plan and a purpose for you in the midst of your storm. Thank you, Jesus. A plan and a purpose for you in the midst of your storm. And verse 7, 27 uh -huh. and verse 8 said, And he searches the heart. He searches the heart. And he know you. Say, Pastor, do he know uh, uh, what I've been doing last night? Did he know what I've been doing know? yesterday? Do he know what I'm thinking Did about doing know? even tomorrow? He knows yes. all of it. Amen. And he searches the heart. Yes. And know what's in our heart. Yes. He know what he has to prune, what, we, what he has to take out, what he, he, he has to work with. He searches the heart and he knows the thoughts. Our desires, our passion. And then he said, he also, what is the mind of the spirit? In other words, that he knows how God is going to work through your situation. He knows the mind of the spirit concerning you, how the Holy Ghost is going to lead your mind into obedience. Amen. Teach, teach. The mind of the spirit yes. concerning you. Yes. He knows what it's going to take for you to get to the point of surrender. He, 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 the spirit searches. Yes. The, the, the mind of the spirit comes in and, 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 and attaches itself to your mind and know what is enough, what is too much. How to regulate you. How to cause you to surrender. How to cause you to worship. What will make you pray. The mind of the spirit. He, he it comes in and it searches you. Be, because the Holy Ghost makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. God knows what it took for you to be listening to this word. God knows what it took for you to turn from your evil yes. ways and commit to God. God knew, God did a search. Yes. He did a survey by the Holy Spirit. Hey. The Holy Spirit knew what the mind of the Spirit is concerning you. Yes. Because he's making intercession yes. for the saints so that his will can come to pass. Amen. And he said, likewise, in verse 26, he said, the Spirit also helped our infirmity. In other words, when we're in storm, the Holy Ghost come in to start ministering to us, start talking to us, start encouraging us, like, like he even did with David. It said David encouraged himself. It really wasn't David encouraging himself. It was the Holy Spirit making intercession for David. Likewise, the Spirit helped our infirmity, our pain, our trial, our tribulation, our storm. The Spirit helped. For we know not what we should pray for as we are. But the Spirit itself made intercession for us with groanings, which we cannot utter. It's the Holy Spirit that comes in to interpret pain that you keep trying to interpret to others. They cannot interpret your pain because they are not able to go into the marrows of your pain and intercede and begin to help your infirmity. Yes. The only thing that was designed to interpret pain that cannot be expressed, pain that is growing, hey. is yes. the spirit. Yes. Yes. Likewise, me too, me too. the Spirit, the spirit yeah. also help our infirmities. Even your tears. God able to wipe away your tears. He's able to capture your tears and explain what each tear drops means. Your neighbor just see you weep. Your neighbor just see that you're having a breakthrough. Your neighbor see that the Holy Spirit 
that, that knows the mind of the spirit concerning you is regulating your mind, is transforming your mind, yes. is moving through your yes. mind, is making up your yes. mind. The neighbor just see the outpouring of what yes. God is doing on the inside Hallelujah. of you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But only the spirit yes. is able to make intercession. It's, it's, see, it's only the, 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 the Spirit of God is able to go in and make intercession for you, for the body of, of Christ to help your infirmities. Yes. The Spirit comes to comfort your uncomfortable desires and thoughts. All right. All right. Thoughts that cannot be comforted. Uh -huh. The Spirit comes in and regulates those thoughts. Uh -huh. Regulate, Spirit. The Spirit. Spirit. Likewise, the Spirit also helps. Our infirmities and in, in, in our storms. In, yes. in, in, in Romans 12, 1, he said, And our mind must be renewed daily. It, it tells us, I beseech you, therefore, brother, by the mercy of God, that you present your body. Uh -huh. In the midst of a storm, you got to present your body. Yes. And you have to present your mind. Come on. And it has to be transformed into what is acceptable unto God, what yes. God approves. Okay. You have to bring all of it. God as an offering. You have to surrender your body. You have to yes. surrender, surrender your mind uh -huh. as an offering. And it has to be proved unto God. God has to be satisfied with your offering. Yeah. Right. Oh, right. He has to make it good and acceptable in the perfect will of God. Only God has that ability yes. Yes. to do it seemingly, abundantly, above all that you can ask of him. Because of the Holy Ghost, yes. as you surrender your body and your mind, God is able to transform it. Yes. In verse 9, it tells us that don't be bitter. Don't isolate yourself. Don't let shame overtake you. Don't stop feeling sorry for yourself. And, and, and watch your emotion. In verse 9 says, let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil, get away from it, but cleave to that which is good. Be kindly affection to one another with brotherly love and honor it, preferring one uh, 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 one another. In other words, it, it, it's telling you that in the midst of your storm, when you're going through, it's easy for your emotion to tell people all. Let me just give you a piece of my mind. That's the wrong thing to do. Give them God's mind. Amen. Let the mind of God search you. Right. Let this mind be in you, which also is in Christ Jesus. Give them God in the midst of your storm. Yes, sir. You say, Pastor, what is the plan? I'm giving you the plan. You got to surrender your body. You got to surrender your mind. Yes, sir. And then it has to be pleasing unto God. And then you cannot allow your emotion to overtake you. But you have to approach it with brotherly love and cleave into that which is good. In verse 19, it, it, it said, don't take matters in your own hand. Don't pay people bites. Don't give them bite. Mm, 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 mm. Don't go tit for tat. Amen. Verse 19 said, Dear, dearly beloved, avenge not yourself, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, said my Lord. You don't suppose to be out there fighting your brother, your sister, your uncle, your son. That's God's job. You're supposed to cast all of your cares unto God because God cares for you. God knows God. how to revenge you. God knows God. how to deal with it. Your plan of action Amen. in the midst of your storm. Stop Amen. fighting. Most of the time, the devil want to tie you up with people and stuff so you don't do his will. He's just trying to stop you from doing the will of God. Get mad about something. They was wrong. Well, don't forgive them. Just, just get tangled and tied up with all of those issues. Yes, then you distract them and can't do the will of God. And long as you're not doing the will of God, he don't care if you're right and not speaking to people. Help right me. and and, 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 and will not do the will of God. Help me, help me. See, in, 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 in life, there are storms. That you won't understand. You just need to survive. 
Thank you, Jesus. Say it again, Pastor. Amen. In life, you're going to deal with some things that there will be no comprehension. No matter if you think about it from the time you get up to the time you go to bed. If you do it for the rest of your life, you will get no understanding. You just have to survive. You have to just not give up in that storm. You have to just not quit in that storm. There's some things that you're only going to know by and by. There's some things you're only going to know when it comes from being in the presence of God. There's some things that you, you, you just know. Yeah, that's good. That's true. Amen. And, and, and see, in the midst of a storm, you know, you, you know, the Bible tells us that in Mark 4, 36, it said, and, and, and when they sent away the multitude, most of the time, the devil's going to attack you when you're alone. They sent away the multitude. They, 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 they sent away the multitude. And in and, and verse 37, it said, and there rose a great storm, wind, and waves. It wasn't just wind, it was water as well, beating into the ship. Not on the ship, but into the ship. You got to be careful what storm you allow Come to flood you. Come on. You have to be careful. What pain you allow to live in you year after year. Around this time, I lost my dad. I lost my mom. You, you know, that wind is still blowing. The waves are still blowing. And beating in the ship. Beating in your mind. Beating in your thoughts. Beating in your remembrance. The wind and the waves. Beat into the ship. Keep beating you every year. Around the same time, doing the same thing. I I I, I even set aside time for them. I, I I even have a place where I go. I, I I don't even go to church during that time because I have devoted myself to the demons. That's true. That's true. That's true. I let the wind blow. I let the waves beat into the ship until it get full. So that now being full. And it talks about Jesus' location. He was into, verse 38, into the hidden part of the ship asleep on the pillar. And they awake him saying, Master. That Master don't mean Lord. It just means teacher. Because they're still under his tutelage. They're still being taught. He said, care thou not that I perish. The word perish means that you had a plan to destroy us totally. When you told us to go to the other side. You didn't tell us about these storms. You didn't tell us about these things. You didn't tell us about it these pains. You didn't tell us about it this just. misery. You didn't tell us about it how just. we was going to grieve and we was going to cry in the thoughts that we Come. was going to have on this voyage, on this journey. You didn't let us know. We expected more from you. Do you even care? That we perish. Wow. Not be damaged. But totally destroyed. <laughs> they come into God Himself. And say, Do you even care that we are totally destroyed? Evangelist Miller, Romans 14, Psalm verse 7, it, 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 it tells us that. Don't never allow a storm to separate you from you and Jesus. Wherever Jesus is, that's where you need to be. You need to be there when there's not a storm, but when there's a storm, don't stop coming to church. When there's a storm, don't stop praying. When there's a storm, stop fasting. When there's a storm, never be separated. From God. That's the strategy of God. Now the strategy of the enemy is to separate you in your storm. Yes, yes. Throw a party for us. Mm -hmm. You know how we did it last year. Come on. You know how long it took you to come out of it. Come on. Throw a party again yes. this year. Call all my brothers uh -huh. and sisters. Call legions to come in. Yes. Let them come in by the thousands. Complain. Complain like 
like never before. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I know you're going to start back going to church next Sunday, but this Sunday, stay home. Yes. This Sunday, invite all the legions to come and throw a party and feed them good. Feed them good until they just happy and shout. Be separated from God in the midst of a storm. And while you in the midst of your storm, look to Jesus and say, do you even care for me? Do you even care that I perish? Do you want me to be totally destroyed? Start saying something like that when you're throwing your party for the demons. In verse 7, Evangelist Miller, it, it said, For none of us live to himself. And no man died to himself. For whether we live, we live uh, unto the Lord. Whether we die, we die unto the Lord. There's no separation. Whether we live, therefore, or die, we are the Lord. Let me say it again. Whether we live or die, we are what? The Lord. The Lord. Yes. The Lord. Yes. Thank you, God. For this in Christ both. He died and he rose. Yes, yes. Thank you. But there was no separation between him and God. He, he said, Father, well, why have thou forsaken us? The flesh fell a separation, but the spirit couldn't disconnect. The spirit couldn't disconnect. Because if the spirit was able to disconnect, that means that God lied when he said he'll never leave us or forsake us. But the flesh cannot accompany the spirit in the presence of God. Hey. That's why the Bible tells us to be absent from the body on, and to be in the presence hey. of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He did it now. He did it now. He, he said that Christ died and rose and, 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 and the spirit stayed connected and, and, and revived. Yes. That he might be Lord both of the dead and the living. Yes. He's Lord of the dead and the living. Uh -huh. For it is written, as I live, said the Lord, every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess uh -huh. yes. that I am God. Must yes. confess to God. Yes. Every tongue. All I'm trying to say to you that. When a dog bark, uh -huh. you 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 silence the dog, and and and, and, and that means for the dog to be quiet. Uh -huh. Amen. That, that that that's what Jesus did when he said peace. peace. It, 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 you know, and, and and he arose and he rebuked the wind and and, and said unto the sea or the water, he said peace. Peace really means. To be quiet. All right. To be silent. All right. See, when a dog is barking and you said peace, it really means to the dog, be silent. Uh -huh. yeah. But that wasn't enough. He he went a step further. Uh -huh. How much further did you go in the scripture, God? He said, be still. Well, Pastor, what does be still mean? It means to muzzle. Huh. Muzzle. It means to love them. See, 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 see. Peace means that when the enemy comes against you, mm -hmm. that time of year when the storm is coming, you got to say peace. You, you got to silence those thoughts. You got to silence the movement of those thoughts in your mind. You have to say peace. That peace means that I'm silencing hey. what you are saying to me. I'm silencing your authority in me. I'm silenced how you're moving in my mind. I'm silencing your thought. 
I'm, I'm sil silenced the things you're saying to me. I, I, I'm silenced, and that's what peace means to be silenced. He silenced the wind, yes. and he rebuked the wind, yes. and he said unto the sea, he said, peace. peace. That means I'm silencing you. Amen. That means wind don't blow anymore. No more. Lord, you Come stop. That's what peace means, to silence it. Yes. All the movement of the wind right. was blowing. He, he rebuked the wind. And, 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 and the water that was moving, he silenced the water. The water had to be, to be quiet. You have to quiet all those demonic voices. They keep coming every year. They, 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 they keep making everything about you. Yes. Every time you talk, they, I, I can't even tell you my problem on, because Pastor. you overwhelm me with your problem. Every time, that's why I don't want to call you. Hey. I know I can get Pastor. into your problem and I need somebody to listen Come to my Pastor. problem. Hey. And I tell you my problem. Hey. Yeah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. And then he, he said, be still. Yeah. I, 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 be still and, and the wind ceased and, 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 and there was a great calm he said be still be, be, be still and, 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 and be still mean that he muzzled the dog mm -hmm. see one thing to tell the dog is be quiet but another thing to muzzle the dog it's one thing to tell demons to be quiet but it's another to muzzle the demon. See, when you muzzle the demon, the demon has no more authority. He can't come by it. There's an end to it. See, it's one thing for me to tell the dog to be quiet, but it's another thing for me to muzzle the dog. When I muzzle the dog, I don't have to worry about telling the dog to be quiet. When you muzzle the demon, you don't have to worry about him. Infrastructuring yes. your thoughts or your mind. Yes, yes. yes. You have to muzzle yes. the devil's yes. suggestion, yes. his thoughts. Yes. Yes. When you muzzle his thoughts, you 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 muzzle his thought patterns towards you. Uh -huh. right. See, you muzzle how he 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 gets you all turned up, and uh -huh. and, 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 and and you muzzle Come your on. emotion. He's not able to get you here and there and everywhere. Come on. You, he, you, you muzzle his, his, his infrastructure that he can't make you do this and do this and, and, and I do this today and I repent tomorrow. Yes. No, no, no. You muzzle him. You prevent the devil from expressing his opinion freely in your mind. You muzzle him. You, 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 you muzzle him. And they said unto them, why are you so fearful? That's what Jesus is saying. How is it that you have no faith? And, and then they, they, they talked about even the waves and the wind obey him. They didn't understand what just took place. He was telling them that in the midst of a storm, this is the plan. Everything that is activating itself in your mind and moving around in your mind it needs to be silent. Hey. Then once you silence everything, then you got to put a muzzle on it. You got to close it. Oh, Say, Pastor, break it down so we understand. See, when you have your computer on, see, sometimes it goes silent or it, it goes to sleep. You know, that's peace. That's all right. That, 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 that's all right. That's peace. But that's not be still. Come on. Be still is when you upload a computer and, 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 and you go to where the power source at and you uh, uh, push the shutdown button. And then you start seeing all the power just leave out of the computer. Woo! That that computer now cannot do anything else. See, that's be still. See, peace. It's when it's sleep. But be still is when it's muzzled. It's no longer having the power to harm you, to, uh -huh. to, to, to say anything to you, yes. to be able to do anything to you. It, 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 the computer is shut down. Be still means to shut it down. I'm, 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 I'm heading home 
now. So I, I, I come to tell you that in, in, in the midst of your storm, you got to know that it's never intended for you to be totally destroyed. Right. In, in, right. in, in, in the midst of your storm, you cannot avoid storm, but in the midst of your storm, when it does, it, 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 it get rid of the waste. It get rid of the stuff you don't need. It get rid of all the things yes. that you don't need in the journey to carry out the will of God. It brings you to Preach. your core. Preach. Just you and God. Preach. It brings you to the foundation Come of on. the relationship. You are who God said yes. you are. Not what man, yes. not what they Come say, on, but what God yes. says. You, you learn to walk alone. Hey. See, the storms get all that hey. weight off of you. Hey. The storms that make it where there's no room for nobody hey. but you and your Savior. Hey. Hey. Storm. In, in, in the storms, the plan God has in your storm, you got to elevate your mindset. It's not a time for you to go down. It's a time for you to spend more. It's a time for you to do more. You got to, you got to have high levels in your mind. You got to elevate your thoughts towards the Word of God and what God is saying. In the midst of a storm, you, the, all the pressure is supposed to push you forward. It's supposed to push you upward. In the midst of a storm, you're supposed to develop more faith. You're supposed to be more positive than ever. It should cause an intentional focus. Wow. Mm. Mm. Amen. Your faith should grow. Your focus should be keen. Amen. You should be intentionally focused. Yes. You should have a fortitude. You should have ability to endure, persevere, yes. and have discipline. Mm. Your faith should grow. Your focus should Come be on. intentional. And your fortitude, you should have your mind made up that we win. Yes. You should have your mind made yes. up that we overcome. Yes. You should have your mind made up that hey. we are more than a conqueror. Hey. That should be fortitude. You shall be encouraged in the midst of pain and in the midst of adversity. God's plan to make you healthier, wealthier, Stronger in the midst of it. It's a pruning season in the midst of it. When the muzzle is on, when God put the muzzle on so the enemy cannot infiltrate your mind anymore, this is what happens. There's a knowing when the muzzle is on. There's a knowing who you are in God. When the muzzle is on, there, there, you, you, there's a knowing what God has called you to do when the muzzle is on. There's a knowing when the storm is coming that God is in the center. There's a knowing. There's a knowing no matter where you are in life, God is the solution when the muzzle is on. Hey! When the muzzle is on. The relationship with you and God gets stronger. Yes. When the mother's on, you submit more. When the mother's on, you stay connected. When the mother's on, 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 God becomes your solution and your Lord. When the mother's on, when the mother's on, I just come to warn you today. God is ready to take you to the other side. And I'm preparing you for the storms in between. I just come to tell you that you win. I come to tell you that you already won. That victory is already yours. I come to tell you that don't get distracted. Keep focusing on God. Keep worshiping. Keep dancing. Keep singing. Keep declaring the victory in the midst of the storm. Be blessed. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. That you know is in the midst of a storm. Yes. Hallelujah.